Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and thanks for being here with me to see this PM skincare video in which I discuss a lot of my anti-aging things that I do. I do a lot in the morning and I'll link that video below so you can look at my AM skincare video and that also does show some beauty devices that I use. My evening skincare is really rather simple but I think it is really effective at helping with anti-aging and the thing about anti-aging skincare is it is not an overnight thing. I started anti-aging skincare when I was 58 years old. I was lucky though because I had stayed out of the sun and I had worn sunblock every day since I was 35 years old. So I think my skin is pretty good as a result of that. But at around 57, 56 years old, I started looking at my skin and I would look in the mirror and feel baggy and saggy. I was getting more jowls and things just were going south on me. And I found YouTube when I was 58 and I actually went on YouTube when I was 59 and I've been here five years. And I will say this anti-aging skincare stuff is not an overnight deal. Even using tretinoin, which is the big kahuna of anti-aging, it took me six, seven months before I really saw any difference in my skin. So if you are on the anti-aging skincare journey with me, then you do need to be patient because these things do take time. But first, here's a look at my outfit of the day. And these are actually PJs and I bought them at TJ Maxx. And I do like TJ Maxx, but they hardly had any pairs of PJs at all. I get my PJs mostly from Amazon and I have one set of short PJs that I got from Amazon and I will link those below. I think they're about $20. They come in a zillion different colors, super comfortable. I think you would really like them. And if you're not yet a subscriber to 50 Plus Beauty, I hope you'll join us. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you email notifications of my future videos. Okay, let's get into this. And to start with, I take off my eye makeup at night and I have been using the CoverGirl Clean Eye Makeup Remover. I have used this for probably 10, 15 years. I love it. I will try to link it below if I can find it. That's why I am making a switch to a different makeup remover. And actually, I just started this one and I hope it's good. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. And that's basically what I use to remove my eye makeup. I'll just go ahead and put some in my hand here. We'll see how it works. I used it last night and I thought I did like it. Just kind of cuts the mascara very nicely. I did notice that. Um, and, and not being oily, I think that is nice. That's one thing about the CoverGirl is, and I get both sides of my lashes, under and upper. So there we are. I look pretty terrible. And I think this does work very well. And in a way, I kind of like it better than the CoverGirl because the CoverGirl has a lot of oil. Now to get the rest of that eye makeup off, I've been using these Neutrogena Hydro Boost towelettes and supposedly they are moisturizing. That doesn't really matter to me though. The thing that matters to me in terms of these makeup removing towelettes is that they don't hurt my eyes and they do not. And it just feels very moisturizing and be very gentle, especially around the eye area. Yes, that seemed to really take that off nicely little brown makeup there, I'm sure. There we go. Okay, that feels pretty good. Everything's off. And I'm going to wash my face and I want to talk with you a little bit about Botox. Um, for those of you who followed my channel, you know that I've used Botox since I was 42 and I'm 63. That means I've used Botox for 21 years. And before I go on with that thought, I'm using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Gel Cleanser. I just take a little bit of that and I use white cheap washcloths from Walmart. I love these. They're like, maybe you get 10 or 12 of them for maybe $4. It's crazy. And they're nice and scruffy, which I think is very exfoliating. So that's nice. But anyway, in terms of Botox, everybody tends to think, those who don't use Botox, they tend to think, oh, Beth just looks good because she uses all that Botox all over her face. And, you know, that would be nice if Botox could go all over your face and remove all your wrinkles, but it can't. And basically the only place I use Botox is all across my forehead and in the 11 area. And I just got my Botox about a week ago, but you can see I can still move my forehead and I can still make little 11s here. So I don't get a whole lot of Botox. I just get enough to smooth that out. I used to get Botox in the crow's feet areas just a little bit. And I stopped that because I've been using and loving the Nera, which is actually reducing those wrinkles very well. They're, they're not gone away completely. As you can tell, I called them my Marlboro Mans and they're still there, but the Nera has really softened them. Look at all that coming off. 
Then I turn the cloth over, get a clean area, and just do this again, just to try to get as much makeup off as I can. And I'm okay that this is very exfoliating. And with regard to fillers, I did a video recently, which I'll link below, probably link up here too, of the aesthetics and plastic surgery procedures I've had. And I've had quite a few over the years, but not many of them really affected my face. One was a fat injection to my cheeks. So I guess you could say I have a fat filler in my cheeks. I would not do that again. And if you want to know why, watch that video. And then I have a little bit of fat in my nasal folds. But other than my lips, where I do have a temporary filler in my lips, I have no filler in my face and I just have the Botox up here. And what I want you to know is that it is good skincare that is making the difference in my skin. Over the past five years I've been on YouTube, I've been using tretinoin and a lot of other anti-aging things, and I really think my skin is firmer and better looking than it was when I came on YouTube five years ago. Okay, I've got that cleanse there, and the next step is toner, and I absolutely love this toner. This is a brand new bottle. I have probably gone through, I think this is the third or fourth bottle. This is the Paula's Choice Pore Reducing Toner, and it has niacinamide, and I love products with niacinamide because niacinamide is a brightener. It evens the tone of your skin, kind of reduces brown spots, and it just makes everything look lighter and brighter, just healthier, I think. I think it makes a huge difference. And another thing this does, it claims that it is pore reducing, and I really think it is. Oh, that feels so good on my skin. It just feels nice and cooling and it is getting off the last little bit of makeup because it's very important to go to bed with, with a clean face. And I really should go down in, in the decollete area. I sort of ignore that area. I know that's bad, <laughs> but anyway, you learned a little secret about me there. I'm not totally anal about everything. And look at that last little bit of makeup that came off there. Okay, now it's time to go into the big kahuna of anti-aging, at least of my PM skincare routine, actually my AM skincare routine too, because I use the dark spot formula in the AM and in the PM. But these products are from Agency, and Agency is partnering with me in this video. However, even if they didn't partner with me, even if they did not send me these products, I would be signing up and paying for their service every month because it is super economical. Basically, there's a link under the video if you'd like to try it out. It's free the first month. You just pay $4.95 in shipping, and then you just pay for it monthly thereafter, and it is very reasonable. And once you sign up, you're assigned a dermatologist provider, and you send in pictures of your face without makeup, and you talk back and forth, and you work with your provider to get you the prescription formula that would work best for you. And the neat thing is you don't have to spend money on a dermatologist in your area. In fact, I have a dermatologist. After having what they thought was skin cancer, I decided to go every year and get my moles checked. And whenever I call her to get in, it can take months to get in. And so that's the neat thing about using the agency's anti-aging skincare is that you don't have to get a dermatologist. You've got your own provider there. Basically, you take a little five minute quiz online there and you tell them what your concerns are, if it's acne or if it's wrinkles or if it's brown spots, fine lines, that kind of thing. And then your provider gives you a prescription that is made just for you. And I think it's wonderful. And this is my prescription. And the first is the future formula. And that's what I'll start using now. And this is a powerhouse because this includes the tretinoin. And Retin-A is the brand name of it. But tretinoin actually is a form of vitamin A, which is scientifically proven to anti-age your skin. This little guy does everything. It fights brown spots. It fights age spots. It fights fine lines and wrinkles. It's absolutely wonderful. And my strength, I'll go ahead and put this on, and you just use one little dollop of it. And then I put that all over my face. I don't put it on my neck because my neck is kind of sensitive to using tretinoin. I only use the 0.5% strength because my skin can't tolerate any higher formula and I'm just fine with that. And the studies are showing that over time, even if you go in with a lesser strength, like a 0.5% strength versus a 1% strength, you get the same results. It just takes you a little bit longer to get there. And my future formula also includes something called Dexpanethol, which is a very good moisturizer. It also includes 5% tranexamic acid, which helps fight brown spots. And I've really noticed that my skin is getting much more even over the time that I've been using this. And actually, 
I have been using, first it was called Curology, and then basically agency broke off from Curology because Curology was really focused on teens and acne, and agency is more focused on us older folks and our anti-aging needs. So really it's the same program, but it's just a different name, and it is called agency. And then the last ingredient of my four ingredient cocktail is niacinamide at 4% strength. And again, niacinamide helps even your skin tone and just brightens your skin. I just think niacinamide helps my skin look brighter and healthier, and it kind of gives it that glowing look of younger skin. Now, because one of my problems that I reported on my questionnaire was dark spots, and I do get melasma, I still have melasma up there, my brown spots on my cheeks are largely gone from using this, which is great. But one of the things I ordered was this dark spot formula. And I believe this costs a little bit more than the monthly program, but to me, it is totally worth it. And again, I use this AM and PM, and it contains prescription strength hydroquinone at 4%, which is the highest legal limit. And I'm really glad about that because my skin reacts very well to hydroquinone. It also contains 4% kojic acid, which is a natural skin lightener and helps with the brown spots again. It includes 3% azelic acid, and that really helps with redness. Like if you have a red nose, red cheek, something like that, it will really null out the redness. And I've noticed that since I've been using this, the redness that I used to have on my skin has largely subsided. It's just great. And then it has Reservatrol, which is a great antioxidant from grapes, I think. And basically you apply this to your face morning and evening. So I'll go ahead and take a little splash of that there. And I do put this on my neck too, because I don't notice it giving me any problems there. Here we go. And the agency program does come with a moisturizer, but I don't use that one. I kind of veer off from the program and do my own thing with regard to the moisturizer. And I'm absolutely convinced that these products work. I've been using them for probably three years now, and I think my skin just continues to get better and better. Of course, you can't stop aging, but it is really nice to kind of soften the process and look as good as possible for our age. Okay, at this point in my PM skincare regimen, usually I've been using this Olay Regenerous Night Recovery Cream, and Angie of Hot and Flashy recommended this highly. However, this is my third bottle, and I did not notice any difference, quite honestly. And I know you have to be patient, but I've probably used this for four months now and seen no difference at all. So about a month ago, I made the switch to a new set of products that I am really enjoying. And for those of you who have followed my channel, you know that my neck is just, really, it drives me crazy. Because look at all that crepiness. I have crepiness, I have wrinkles, I have the beginnings of jowls forming, and of course that's natural at 64 years old, I was going to be 63. And even with the little jowls, you know, you've got to have some evidence of aging when you're in your 60s, and so I'm fine with that. But all of this crepiness and whatever, I just really want to firm that up, if at all possible, and... I have been using two products that I really think are helping. The first is the Multi-Action Sculpting Cream, and this is from City Beauty. And if you'd like me to do a video specifically about my neck with regard to these products, I really think they're helping, and I would be glad to do a video and explain them more in depth. Basically, this is a wonderful moisturizer. It contains lipids, and it also contains some firming ingredients that basically firm your skin initially, and those results just get better over time. And I think I'm really noticing that with this cream and I'm really enjoying it. Again, this is the City Beauty Multi-Action Sculpting Cream. And this is not sponsored, by the way, by City Beauty. Basically, I take a little bit of that cream. It feels so good, it feels so cold. I've gotten quite a ways down. I've used it quite a while here. And I forgot to put it on my neck. I'll go ahead and put it on my neck. And this is their Invisicrate Body Balm. And apparently this is wonderful at firming your neck. And I've only been using this for about the past week, but I am noticing already that I think my neck just looks just a little bit firmer, just a little bit more line free. It's not going to be perfect, but I really noticed just a subtle amount of firming there, which I am really enjoying. And there that is. And I use this on my neck. And also I take it up on my jowl area because I would like those to be firmer. And I'm not going to do it now, but I also, well, I'll go ahead and do it. I also put it on my bat wing area because I have noticed that when I look at my skin up close and personal, and actually I bring it down on the tops of my arms too, because I think my arms really are in need of moisture. And I've been studying crepiness. And basically what happens is that your skin almost has little breaks in it. 
it kind of looks like a desert or something like that. And it gets these little cracks in it. I can see them now, actually. And traditional moisturizers don't do much. They sit on the surface and don't really get down deep into the skin. And this Invisicrape is designed to be more deeply moisturizing than that. So there we go. And I'll go ahead and smooth this in on my face. Again, this is the multi-action sculpting cream. Also, the Invisicrape down in this area. Both of those creams are extremely moisturizing. And the neat thing is that just after you put them on, you can feel like it's not a huge amount of firming, but you can kind of feel your skin tightening up. Okay. Ooh, that feels so good. It feels cold. And as it is drying, you can feel that firming action on your skin. It's not dramatic. It's just the littlest bit of firming on your skin. And I really am enjoying that because I think those products are just kind of adding just the slightest bit of firmness to my skin, to my face, and also to my neck area. I especially notice it on my neck, and I'm also doing some other things to try to improve that area. And again, if you'd like to see a video on what I'm doing to combat crepiness, sagginess, crepey skin in my neck, let me know in the comments section because I would love to share that information with you. Well, that was my PM skincare routine. And if you'd like to see my skincare that I do in the morning, plus a lot of the devices that I use, then I hope you'll stay on my channel and watch the next video.